and welcome to an all-new Eye of the Tiger. I'm AJ Welker. And I'm Cam Madrano. Today marks the deadline for course registration, and as students start planning ahead for next year, counselors and administrators are doing what they can to make the process easier. Let's take a look. You may have noticed that classrooms around campus have begun displaying posters that indicate which A to G requirements that class fulfills. This was implemented in an attempt to give students a better idea on how to meet these requirements when planning their future classes. Students can learn like what the class requires, like if it's a math class you're going to know what requirement it meets for A through G requirements, like for graduation and for applications for like CSUs or UCs. Beyond this, counselors stopped by junior English classes in order to speak to the students about their post-graduation plans, and these presentations aim to expose juniors to colleges and careers that they might be interested in, as well as teach them the steps they need to take to get there. I learned what courses, like in the future, would help me out the most, and, with, and it helped me decide what classes I wanted to take in the future, so I could uh, work towards those jobs that they provided me. If you are a junior hoping to TA or have an off period next year, you must complete your online personal finance course by May 1st. Beginning with the class of 2020, all students will now have to take a final personal finance exam during Tiger Tutoring Hours to officially complete the course. This change comes as an attempt to uphold academic integrity and prevent cheating. We now go to Natalie Russell with sports. Good morning and welcome to this Tuesday's edition of EOTSN. I'm Natalie Russell. This winter, all five sports qualify for playoffs, and this week, the four team sports will be competing in the first round. Girls basketball was seeded 10th in the D2 section playoffs and face off tonight against the 7th seed Laguna Creek High School. Laguna Creek has an overall record of 25-3 after finishing their season in the Metro League. Although their record appears to be impressive, this young team of 10 freshmen and only four seniors has had a weak schedule thus far. The Tigers should watch for freshman Array Young, who averages 17.7 points and 4.9 assists per game. In their first playoff game, girls soccer will face Lincoln High School. This year, the Tigers were seeded 5th in the D2 section playoffs. Lincoln was seeded 12th and finished 3rd in their Foothill Valley League with a record of 6-3-1 and, and an overall record of 11-9-2. Junior Autumn Bursch leads Lincoln in the offensive end, currently sitting at 11 goals and 10 assists. Both Roseville and Lincoln have played Whitney, Intercom, Rockland, and Oakmont. Lincoln finished those games with a record of 1-1-3, while Roseville finished 4-1. In the first round of playoffs, the boys varsity basketball team will play the Ponderosa Bruins. Ponderosa competes in the Foothill Valley League and has an overall record of 16-11. They have lost to various teams that the Tigers have defeated this season, including Del Campo and Davis. Junior Aiden Falls carries the Bruins offensively, averaging 13.9 points a game, and senior Elijah Henderson leads their team in rebounds, averaging 7.3 a game. In previous seasons, the Bruins have competed alongside the Tigers in the CVC. Last year, the Tigers were 1-1 against the Bruins, and both games were very close. Tonight, in their first playoff game, boys soccer will face the Lincoln Zebras at home at 6 o'clock. After finishing the CVC in third and had a 13-5 overall record, the Tigers were seeded fifth in the D2 section playoffs, while Lincoln finished the Foothill Valley League in third with a 10-4-8 overall record. The two teams have played before this year in preseason, and Roseville came out on top and won 2-0. And that's all in your home for Roseville High School sports, top plays, breakdowns, and more. I, the Tiger Sports Network, EOTSN. And now we go over to entertainment. Thanks, Natalie. Today we're here at Better Foods Deli to try out the sandwiches right here at the corner of Douglas and King. We brought the entertainment gang to go film and see what they're all about. So yeah, let's go in. So I got two halves of a sandwich. I got the half of a Cuban and half of a prosciutto sandwich. I got the prosciutto, cream cheese, Dutch crunch. Yeah, everything's looking really good though. Uh, compared to pretty much every other sandwich I have, this is looking like one of the best I've ever had. Prosciutto looks incredible. The Cuban, just the melting on there just looks beautiful. I'm really excited to try it, so I think we should dig in. Okay. That is absolutely insane. That's one of the best okay. sandwiches ever. I'm not even a big sandwich fan, but this is one of the best sandwiches I've ever had. I have been destroying this cube, and this is one of like, like, sandwiches aren't usually my thing, but this is just absolutely incredible. In fact, the Cuban was actually so good, I had to get a second one, and it looks as amazing as the first. Like, I can't describe you how perfect 
the sandwiches. We also got a piece of cheesecake to try because they have a myriad of desserts. So. That's way better than that would be. Yeah. The crust is crazy. That's. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh, yeah. This is definitely the new after school hangout spot. Yeah. And, it, like, they closed at 4, so you're going to have to rush here early. But it's if you can get here on time before work or before you got to do after school club or something like that or a sport, it's definitely where you should go, for sure. Thanks, Jackson. An RHS junior has started selling secondhand clothing online. Junior Delaney Nagtalon created her own clothing business online where she resells clothes on the app Depop. I've seen people uh, start Depop shops, like all you need to do is um, download the app and you need to have like a PayPal set up. So I've seen the process of other people do it, so I just thought it would be like an easy way to make a little bit of money. Nagtalon believes she has found a, for the most part, trouble-free business and only has to ship out orders once a week. Learn how to do it better, like take better quality pictures, offer measurements. So as you improve your shop, you get more followers. And um, I've definitely been selling more. You just ship out orders every week. And I like, um, I like it way better than if you were going to sell like with another secondhand seller like Crossroads or Freestyle because they take a lot less of your, pro uh, your profit. Nagtalon's boyfriend, Igor DeCosta, enjoys helping out Nagtalon as he takes photos for her online shops. She's always done this on the side and I think she'll keep doing it for a while so it should be like, it's pretty fun to just take pictures with her so I don't mind. Delaney hopes to continue this business in the future and expand it to include clothes from her own label. For the full story, check out today's print edition of Eye of the Tiger. The Spring Blood Drive will be held tomorrow in the 900's teacher parking lot from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Students older than 16 are eligible to sign up today at lunch in Senior Square or the cafeteria. And that's it for us today on Eye of the Tiger. And remember to pick up a copy of today's newspaper. See you next time.